Good morning, everybody. My name is Aaron, and I am going to show you how to add LUTs, which are basically uh, lighting effects, eh, lighting and color, to your webcam in OBS so that you can have interesting things. Trust me, you're going to want to know how to do this. Uh, so watch the video, which starts right now. Like I said, my name is Aaron, and I am an esports. Uh, broadcast producer and I uh, have this YouTube channel where I show you how to do things that I've learned how to do over the years that will just incrementally improve the quality of your recordings and broadcasts. So hit subscribe, hit the notification button because I'm posting like a madman. Here we go. So I was poking around on Twitter the other day and I found uh, this post from Martin Wong who has some LUTs that he created for free to give to streamers to transform their streams. Uh, there's a whole video uh, that he demonstrates how some of them uh, look and uh, where to get them for free. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed them and in this video I'm going to just go through the process of applying them so that you can see how to do this kind of thing. Uh, once you have those, but I definitely recommend that you go check him out and get them when you're done watching this video. Okay, so the uh, quick and easy way to do this is once you have these LUT files, uh, then just put them somewhere where you know you can find them, and then in OBS, go to your webcam, right click it, click filters, and then the plus under effect filters, and apply LUT and then uh, you can name it if you want if you know which one you're going for or uh, I'll just name it number one because we're gonna go through each one now you go through the path by the way my cams upside down because it's mounted to a thing so don't worry about it Ooh. <clears throat> I, I had coffee this morning just please and then you pick one and you click open boom and it has applied itself look at that this is a very sort of like okay um, very pink, very, uh, very magenta. Okay. It's called candy. Okay, cool. Um, let's kill that one and check out what the next one is. So apply LUT. Yep. And there's 10 of these and we're going to check them all out. And I'm willing to bet that one of these is going to be really cool and I'm going to want to keep it. All right. Cell dark. Whoa. All right. Very cool. And you can see how like the blacks are sort of like uh, they're flickering on sort of the edges of things where there's a little bit of noise. Very, um, very comic book feel. Cool. This one is Cell Light. Okay, very cool. It's a sort of like a, a calmed down version of, of Cell Dark or Heavy or what's it called? Dark. Um, force. Ooh, I really like this one because it's, it, it's, I tend to like the, the more calm sort of applications of color and modifications, filters. I, I like to go subtle. And this one is really nice and subtle. It gives the whole thing a very cool wash. And then, you know, and I'm unhiding and hiding. Uh, so that I can see like, all right, what did it actually do? And yeah, it just kind of gives everything a nice little cool tone without making it darker. But remember that this is all supposed to be about what your personality and style is. And find the thing that really sells what you do and who you are and, and, and just complements that. So this one's called Glow. And um, yeah, it just kind of makes everything a little bit more saturated, a little bit washed out, right? A little bit bright. And I can definitely see that in, in, in a lot of areas, the sort of darker tones, the mid to dark tones, there's uh, the noise is kind of exaggerated in the, in the image. Like you could see in my shirt, it's kind of like, Wah! let me know in the comment section if, uh, if any of these stand out to you uh, as something that you would use. Or um, if you use an LUT that uh, you think I need to know more about. Neon. All right. Very like, I, I don't know how else to describe it other than that. Posterize. Whoa. All right. This is pretty intense. Wow. 
Um. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Rainbow. Okay, I'm ready. Wow. All right. Super, super saturated. But I kind of really like it. Eh? Eh? We are at number nine. Oh my gosh. Retro. Ooh. I really like it. Okay, so it's almost like... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide it. And then unhide it. It's warmed everything up. Which I like. It, it also kind of added... Not only did it warm it up, but it added kind of a sepia, right? Or, or a brownish wood colored kind of thing to like the mid and and sh mid tones and shadows i really like this a lot slick ooh this is cool look at that it's only keeping colors of a certain range so if you see like i've got some red objects on my desk and the red is staying right the red in that label is staying the red in the flag the orange on my shirt some of the like reddish orangish tones in the in the tortoise of my glasses even some of the like reddish orange in my skin and in the shadows but then everything else has been washed out all the cooler tones are gone it's almost like a comic book where they only give you certain colors instead of like all the colors to give you a very sin city stylized look pro tip if there is an LUT that you really like, but you want to reduce some of the impact of it. Uh, you, there's a slider here for the amount underneath the path that slides from zero to one, one being 100% and zero being 0%. You can think of it as an opacity slider in a way. How opaque is the LUT's effect on top of your camera? By the way, this is hashtag not sponsored because I just, I found these and I'm so happy with it that I decided you need to go get these for yourself. And the fastest way to do that is to just click the link in the description and go to his video so that you can get this stuff. But before you go, click like on my video. If you actually made it all the way here, that means that maybe it was useful. And if it was useful, the best way to let me know so that I know to do more of them is to click the like button. Uh, better yet, you can subscribe and then you'll get notifications if you click the little ding dong bell thing. Um, so that you know when these get posted. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around for another exciting episode of this is not a series, so there's no episode name. Um, episode one. Bye. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Nine, four is not available. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye.